Hello, welcome. So, today I'm gonna do a bit of train simulator driving, as I'm sure you know if you're watching the archive, and after that we're going to drive, well, maybe not drive, but we're going to associate ourselves with trains further in the MISC stream. Hello, so, right, hello Kango Fango, Nazis, day one seventh, Monday? So little woo woo. Do you know what that means? Well, I'm guessing that you probably guessed that it means that we're going to be driving in the USA somewhere. And if you want to know more details, well, that's not going to be an issue because you've been watching the stream. So if I click here, you can see this is where we're going to be driving. It's a little bit stuttery for some reason. I don't know why. We're going to be starting from here which you can see there, Colfax, I'm sure you can see. And then we're going to be driving up here and we're, we're going to be going all the way to Emigrant Gap. Now, the thing is, the actual map is very long, but we're, we, the, the actual map is over 100 miles long, like maybe something like 120 miles long or something. We're not going to be driving that. We're going to be driving a little bit under 40 miles. About 35, I think. And if I zoom in here, you can actually see that this is railway. Yeah? You can see the railway. And this is actually the line that we're going to be going on from down here up that way. So, here we are. Mm hmm? Fef3. No, sorry, I don't have that add-on. But if you wish to sponsor it, then sure. You can sponsor it and then I'll play it in a stream. Uh, Click Creek? Nope. Colorado? Um, uh, maybe? Not quite sure. Let's see, if I click there... Nope, that's California. If we zoom away, you can see it's here. This is the Donna Pass map, in case you hadn't guessed. Wait, Horseshoe Curve? Ha! No, 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 no. Horseshoe Curve is all the way over here somewhere in, hold on, in Pennsylvania. My guess is somewhere up there? Hold on. There it is. Let's see. Let's zoom out, zoom out, zoom out. Ah, well, down there. Yeah, so I was a tiny bit off. I, I thought over here, but it's actually down there. But yeah, so, but still, quite a, a bit of a gap there, wouldn't you say? Anyway, let's go over. Tell me if the volume is too loud or too quiet, and then we can get started. Or the other way around might make more sense. So, actually, the cable should go there. Okay. Right. Soldier Summit? No. No. Oh, of course. Quite a bit of a gap. Yes. <laughs> so, quite a bit of an emigrant's gap. Mm. Tell me, volume, as we go. So, this is the PRR K4. Let's turn the lights on. There we are. We have got... Oh, actually, no, it's 28 miles to go. So, not that far. Turn the text on. Beautiful locomotive, as I'm sure you can appreciate. Look at that view. Look at how tall it is. That's the firebox, by the way. That entire shape there. And yes, we've got some wagons attached. Yes, I'm very aware that PRR never went over here, but that's fine. So if you want to have a quick look at the map, this is the length of the map. So the actual map starts down here in Roseville. And this is all the way out that I can zoom. And it goes all the way over to here to Sparks. That is a long, long way. We're only be going to be going from here, as you can see, there we are. We're going to be going up to there. So we're only going to be going in bit, so from here, that little distance there. 
And the bit that I showed on the map, that was this loop here. So, right. Uh, beautiful. Sparks, as in the band, or as in Sparks CA. Probably CA, unless it crossed the border. I wanted to start over by the station, but I heard that there was a little 44 tonner around the place causing a bit of a nuisance. Uh, bumping into cars and going back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and all these things, but anyway, yeah, I couldn't select the destination from up there. Right, so let's listen to the whistle. And let's listen to the bell. Sadly, the bell is not animated, but that is okay. We shall endeavor to press onwards regardless. Okay, so that's good. Fire mass seems okay. Let's open the cylinder cocks. Ah, oh, that is the sound. Nice. Right? Nuisance, eh? Yes, uh, just a tiny bit. And let's give a little bit of a blast of the whistle. And let's see if we can get going. Release the brakes. Oh, wheel slip. Come on. There we go, steam chest pressure is increasing. Okay. And there we go, we're off. Oh, wheels lift. Now if I zoom in a bit and release... Actually, if I zoom in a bit and release the sander, you can see the wheel slip there. So, let's use the sander a bit. I can close the cylinder cocks. Come on. There we are. Nope, come on, close them. Close them. There we are. And sander. Let's grip. Tell me if the volume's fine. I think it's fine, otherwise you probably would have said already. Dun -dun. Okay. We'll have to reduce the throttle slightly, because, well, we would otherwise wheel slip all over the place. Let's see, what's the speed limit? 50 going down to 30, that's fine. I will point out, I have not tried this run before, so if we get stuck, then, well, <laughs> that's that. I'll give you a news... Actually, no, I won't. I'll drive properly. <laughs> Fun little reference there. I'll give you that. Shall I quickly speedrun reskins? Quickly speedrun reskin this local into SP livery before heading off? <laughs> uh, probably not. Okay, we are using Steam faster than we're generating it, which is a little concerning. Considering we're going so slowly. But that should. Oh, the blower's off. That's why. There we go. Volume's great, thank you. You never tried this one before. I thought you did, on Horseshoe Curve. Huh. This run. I never tried this run before. Okay, we can now get some speed as the grade is leveling out a bit.
Ah, I gotcha. Mm -hmm. That's strange. The fire mass hasn't gone down at all. Hmm. How odd. Right, so we can go 30 here. Yeah, yes, good. <laughs> Ah, why? What do you mean? What a nice locomotive. Flicker Bridge, CA. Flicker Bridge, CA? I, I don't know what you mean. You're confusing me. Um, go back with eight cam. The bridge we went under was slippery. Oh. Oh, up there. All right. <laughs> I see what you mean. That's really strange. The fire mask doesn't seem to go down. Plus, I can't seem to put any more in. Maybe it's just because there's quite an old add-on that it doesn't have that simulated correctly. Hmm. Oops, what's going on? What's happening? What's that, Labour? The Stoker. Oh! Oh! It's probably be oh, it has a mechanical stoker, of course. That's what this pipe is. Maybe that's why the fire mass isn't really going down. Because hmm, maybe that's the reason. I don't know. Anyway, the signal's green, which is good. Oh, now it's g now the fire mass is going down. So maybe... Oh, right. Oh, so the stoker was already on. So if I turn the stoker off now, the fire mass is dropping. Ah, that makes sense. So the stoker was already on. So th that I don't need to do anything with that. Um... Wait, what? How are you moving it? What? The stoker? No, that's just R and shift R, the fire rate changer. Long Ravine Bridge, track 2. What I meant. There we are. Everything's fine. Lovely roof and train. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this looks like where the grade begins again. So, oh yes, it does indeed. <laughs> there we are. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Not sure this was the ideal choice. <laughs> oh yeah, the steam pressure is just dropping so much. I wonder why that is. Why is the steam generation rate so low? Let's see. Now we're generating steam. Okay, let's let's stop for a little while. Let's see, I'm just keeping an eye on that up there. The blower is on, dampers are open. Yeah, so you can see that, hold on, you can see that over here the steam generation, the ste we are generating more steam, so it's working. We've got plenty of coal, water levels, okay. I wonder why we were losing steam so quickly. Okay, let's try... Let's, okay, let's wait for a moment while we're generating steam. We're gonna have a look, a look around. <clears throat> I mean, it is a 2.4% grade. Ah yes, this is that spot where one side goes through the tunnel and the other one goes around. Beautiful spot, this. <laughs> no, it's kitchen to halt. Attach a steam pump. Not sure. Hmm. I don't know either. Okay, well, I'll zoom a bit in so you can see the numbers. Okay, let's see if we can set off. Actually, tell you what, I'll turn the camera over to face this way slightly, so you can see out as well a bit. Okay, because we're on such a steep grade, I need to put that to maximum. Okay, we've got about 100 psi, which isn't that much, but we can we can try. Need to increase that. Release the brakes. Sand. Okay, are we going to move? The brake cylinder pressure is decreasing. Brakes are released. Ah, <laughs> it would appear that this will not work. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, because you can see we're rolling downhill. Well, that's unfortunate. It seems it was a little bit too much for the K4. Aww. Well, in that case, let's try a different locomotive. Shall we? Okay, let's try a different locomotive. UP Challenger? Ha! <laughs> no, I want to I want to try the the cap forward again because the cap forward is meant to go on this route. <clears throat> there we are. 40 box cars seems like a lot. But I don't really want to edit the consist, so I can give it a try. I think the issue with the K4 was that I was generating so little steam. Maybe there's a trick to it. Maybe there's something that that locomotive simulates that I'm not aware of. 
But it was, it was. I did drive that locomotive before, by the way, uh, quite a few times on different maps. But no, no map that had such a steep gradient. So I never had to have the cutoff so far, so oh, so much, oh, so high to uh, on a run with it. Okay, well let's try this in that case. We've had a go with this before on the Besmer and Lake Erie, where it uh, it kind of didn't work that well. Well, it did work well in the beginning, but then it kind of stopped working well. This is the cab. Okay. That's odd. It's a it's an oil fired loco, as you can clearly see. And yet it still says coal level. Where is it? Tender coal level. Anyway. Okay. Okay. Where is that? Where is it making that sound? Hold on. Is it on the... It would make sense if it's on this seat. Hold on. Oh, that. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. That is the... That is the oil thing. Fuel lever, yes. Okay, I think we can put in a little bit more. Okay. Kirchberg and Triol. Mm -hmm. Match of the UP GTEL gas turbine, but in SP livery. Great cab. Well, it's not coal, it's coal. Haha. <laughs> yes, indeed. I want to get about a thousand pounds. Nope, that's fine. Nah, I think that was a bit too much. Okay. That's climbing up. So let's let's try this. And will it move? It's meant for this map. Come on. Almost. The steam chest doesn't ha has barely any pressure. I'm not sure why. Come on. At uh, one thousand uh, dollars a pound, just like that. I think you're gonna need a few more banker <laughs> bankers for that. I mean. I could attach a banker, or, or two, or five. Okay, there we are. Wheel slip. No, no, come on. Okay, let's close the cylinder cocks. And off we go! Good start! We can also open the window slightly up there. Oh, wheel slip. Okay, now I need to reduce the cutoff. I need to put the brakes on running. I need to open the blower. And off we go. Okay, we are generating steam faster than we're using it, which is a good sign. Which the K4, for some reason, was difficult to do. Okay, dampers are open. Speed limit, 30 at the moment. Uh, 
This is going well so far. Let's save. <laughs> Open that window as well. Yes, let's open that window. Ah, yes, let's get a little bit of more air moving in here. Now I can reduce the regulator. A little bit because, well, we're going at 25. The speed limit's 30. Would be nice if the mirror worked. Mm hmm. True. But it's also nice that it doesn't lag. Well, not a lot at least. Okay, coming up on 30. There we are, 30. Let's use this opportunity. To also, hold on, which one's the live one? Is that one the live one? Um, I'm not certain. No, that appears to be the exhaust one. Is that the live one? I'm uh, talking about the injector. Yes, that's the, the live one, that's good. At the moment I'm using the live steam because we are barely using any steam, so to raise the water level a bit. Maybe have a drive-by for the thumbnail? Maybe. We'll see. Hmm, not sure about the injectors. I think I and K are live and O and L are exhaust. At least that's the way it seems. Let's put a bit more oil in the firebox as well. Uh, ki 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 ololololol. Oh, oh right. Ololol. <laughs> oh well. still good. Nothing's about to explode. That's always useful. Well, most of the time it's useful. If you're trying to blow something up, then it's not very useful. Thirty, good. But here comes the grade. Okay, I need to close the injectors. And open the throttle a bit more. Let's see how this goes. Well, it's going better than with a K4. I can say that much. Okay. 
I need to keep an eye on the steam generation rate because what I don't want to happen is that I put too much oil in and it then starts dropping. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't that a great view? Great view. Bottom bum bum ba dum. Also try pressing Q. I have the cap forward, yes. Why what do you mean Q? What does Q do in this case? Oh you mean the AWS thing. Oh, oh right, of course. The air horn. <laughs> Quite a long train we've got as well. It's really impressive that this locomotive is doing this well, whereas the K4 just screeched to a halt. If you're watching this archived, and you know what happened with the K4, what I did wrong, please let me know. Please. Try finding it on the front of the loco. The horn? There? Oh, that's a bit too much. Although, it does seem to be working, so... I mean, that's good. <laughs> yes, hey, hey, hey. Okay, the grade is going to level out soon. Which means that... Hold on, I want to see which one is the... Ah, the live steam. That's exhaust. Oh, so this is exhaust. Oh. Oh, okay. Fine, so, so I and K is exhaust. I, I, okay, that's easy to remember. I is exhaust. Also, did you see my message above? Yay, hello train. Oh, sorry, I don't think I did. I I didn't read them. I I'll I'll find it. I'll read it in a moment. Okay, and here's where the grade uh, gets a bit steeper again. Let's save again. Ha ha ha. Okay, now that the main bulk of the train is on the flat, we are actually still increasing in speed. However, that won't last long because we're about to essentially um, take the entire train on this train. Yeah, there, there we go, the acceleration is dropping again. Is that enough, the, the water? That doesn't seem like it is enough. Is that open, by any chance? Or is that closed? If I press that button again... Is that now going to increase or decrease? Um, it's gonna stay put. But there are some things which means that it is actually now open, probably? Oh dear, now it's increasing. So I guess I just must not have pressed the button earlier when I had to close it and so it was, it was inverted. Okay. Did you know- oh wait, it was this. Did you know there was even a K4 featured in Thomas the Tech Engine? Looks like it's open. Mm-hmm. It is. I... I did, but I didn't recognize it as a K4.
Look at all these cars. And look at that grade we're going up. <laughs> yep, they messed with the colors quite a bit. It was Hank the American engine. Oh yes, Hank, the very blue one. The that one did, wasn't that the color that the old garden for trains was? That blue. Yes, indigo. Ah, okay. Zero, zero, two for five, pretty much. Mm -hmm. RGB colors, that. I do not want to miss this opportunity. Okay, great. We are still... Okay, we are still generating steam, which is great news. Mm -hmm. Yep, RGB, not HSB. Mm -hmm. Hue, saturation, brightness. HSB. And red, green, blue, RGB. Does this have lights in here? How can I turn them on? If Oh, it does have lights. Can I turn them on? Oh, that's headlight switch. Oh. Ah, there. Gauge lights. Cab lights. Ah, this might be a good one to drive at night as well. And not a HST either. Well, come on, 15.5 miles an hour is pretty fast, isn't it? <laughs> this is going much better than the other one did. Although the boiler water level is still dropping. I just want to find the sweet spot for the oil. Around here is fine. Okay. Let's see, is that going to be helping the water level? I think it is. Oh, okay. We are going to hit 30 soon. Oh yes, because we're on the, on the flat. Haha, <laughs> of course. Okay, forward. I've always had a sweet spot for oil. Haha. <laughs> oh, and we're speeding. Okay, there we are. But here comes the climb again. Okay, the boiler water level is rising now. That's good news. We are losing steam pressure because that's open. But well, that's fine, we can lose a little bit of pressure. Actually, no, we're still gaining pressure. Okay. 
That's fine. As long as our uh, boiler water level doesn't drop too far, we're going to be good. Get your hiking gear and harness out, everyone. It's climb time. It's prime climb time. <laughs> eh? What do you mean, eh? Oop. There we are. That's the good setting. That's the setting I wanted. We are generating a whole lot of steam, which is great. I need more water in there. Is that? Oop. Which one is that? Oh, is that up, up there somewhere? Where is that? Oh, it's down there. Because I'm guessing it, this is open? <laughs> yes, it is. Good. It's what? Climb time. Climb, climb time. No, no, no. Prime climb time. Oh, look, a hand. Did you see the hand just there? Ooh, hand. Oh! <laughs> Ooh, creepy. Mm -hmm. Look, with this one, you push the whistle handle down like that, see? And hey, this time, it hasn't said that it ran out of water for no apparent reason. Imagine if when you turn one of those injectors outwards, the valve just comes off. Uh, it might, if you turn too far. Uh, ooh, lovely. <laughs> oh, look, and the caboose even has an interior. Ah, look at that. Oh look, you can even see down there some sort of a, well, little stove. Look, the the kettle, or the, the coffee pot or whatever, is baked into the texture. But because you can only see it from this angle, it looks like it's actually there 3D, but actually it's part of the 2D texture. Haha. <laughs> you can see a little table there and things. Most people probably didn't even see this. How are things going in here? Great! Okay. Oh, wheel slip. <laughs> it would be nice if these were still in operation and or in preservation. Mm -hmm. I know there is at least one that is restored, from the outside at least, but that's a static display. It's in the texture, XDDD, brilliant! What does it look like in the 8 view? I'm not sure, I've got to hold on the X button. <laughs> the 8 camera when just above the ground travel at 22 miles per hour if shift isn't held down. Ah, that is very useful information, thank you. I wonder how Emily would do pulling this train. 
Yes, the Thomas and Friends one. Because that's some of the stuff that she does with that big single wheel. No probs. Probs. Let's see if I let go. Oh, no. Okay. We're not having wheel slip. That's great news because it means I can have a look. Okay, let's have a look. Yep, it is flat. See? Oh, look, there's a bed over here as well. Um, 40 of those cars with a sterling, sterling single wheeler. Mm -hmm. Water level's looking healthy, fire is looking healthy, got plenty of steam. Great! I doubt that we're gonna get there on time. <laughs> She'd probably faint on the spot. Can angels faint? Interesting that. Thanks. Well, if they can talk, have a consciousness, sleep, then they can probably faint as well. Yes, very convincing bush placement there. Yes. Oh, we'll slip. Ah, that wasn't great. Probably lost a lot of speed due to that wheel slip. Hmm, suppose so. By the way, this is li this is literally every ounce of strength that this locomotive can muster because the boiler pressure is well. It is pretty much about at its maximum. If that is... Yes. Yes, it is. Uh, we've, we're in full regulator, full cutoff. Oh, a flashing yellow. Interesting. Oh! That's enough water. Okay. Hmm, just went from Ivor to Toby real quick. Of course it did. <laughs> Rewhistling. <laughs> okay, we're getting a little bit more speed for some reason. Okay. Right. <laughs> nice map, but because it's so steep, you can expect at these sort of speeds. I suppose I should have brought a locomotive that was built for this route in the first place. Shouldn't I? By the way, the reason why the cab forward was built for this, this cab forward was built for this route, was because of all the snow sheds, because it's, no, it's so long that normal locomotives, you would get uh, too much smoke in the cab, would be too dangerous. So that's why they have the cab forwards on here. 
At least that's if I recall correctly. If if that's wrong, please correct me. Hello, Kiran Kiran Large Two. Hello. Interesting info. <laughs> <coughs> Let's see how far we've got to go. Ah, 20 miles. I'm sure we can do that in three minutes. Probably Kiran Large. Kiran Large. What did I say? Kiran. Kiran. What did I say? Apologies if I misspoke miss your name. Uh, you said K ran. Uh, I think it's K. I think it's Key ran, as in the word ran. Oh, right. Oh, he's gone, along with all but uh, two bots. Oh, well, that's fine. He probably just got insulted because I mispronounced his name. <laughs> no, probably, probably not. Probably not. <coughs> Key, yes. Yep, oh, and we need a bit more water still. Okay. Right, so that down there is live steam, that up here is exhaust steam, that's very good to know. Lovely that the cab also has heating. <laughs> of course it does. Um, Yes, of course it. Yes, of course it does. <coughs> In the front. Oh, that. Yes. <laughs> it can get pretty cold in the Donner Pass area, as I'm sure the Donner expedition found out. Okay. Oh, is it leveling out? It is. I did, I did, I did, Tor Putty Cat. Is that for putting your feet against it? Um, maybe. I don't know. Probably not. Probably is just cab heating. Heating. Okay, now we're making good time. And I can let go of the sander finally. Ah, oh, that might be the thumbnail right there. Oh, we're speeding a little bit. Okay, come on. Oh, and here comes the climb again. 
We made it! Hooray! We made it! Hooray! <laughs> Not quite yet. Because here comes the climb again. Two point four percent. Okay. But now the box has got devious and devised a plan. When I say push, push, one said, push, <laughs> and they started to push the poor cap forward down the mountain. Well, if they want to push, they can push all they want because uh, we are currently still going up the mountain. <laughs> I did tar putty twat. Twat? What do you mean? Um, <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's hop over here. Let's close down the <clears throat> the live steam. And let's close the exhaust just a little bit, like that. Oh, we're coming up on a little yard or something. Gold Run Approach too. Ah. Should we stop here at Gold Run Approach? Yeah, because we would we would still have all of this bit to go. We only may have, it, I think we wait. Did we only? Oh yeah. Huh. Look, we only made this bit, and we would still have to make this bit. Even though this is where it gets very very nice up here. Wait, is that a red signal? Approved. Phew. Huh. It almost ended it, uh, th it for us. There. <laughs> I thought some letters were pronounced differently. Maybe. Or did it, or did we just say cat? I did. I did. I did. Tell a putty cat. I think so. Um. Ah oh well. And St. Clinton, hello, St. Clinton. Fine eve today, isn't it? Hmm. If you want to do this for two hours, shall us? Pusies, pusies. What do you mean? Pui, pusies, pusies. What do you mean? Fusies. Oh, fusies! What? A, huh? Let's say. Oh, right. <laughs> yes. I know. I mean, well, the I might as well tell you now. The game I wanted to play for the misc sl uh, slot was Mini Metro. I suppose maybe half an hour would suffice, so we could go for half an hour longer. <clears throat> with train simulator. Plant coaster? No. Open TDD? No. I already said what it is. <laughs> Transport fever 2 with mods this time? Nope. Train fever? Nope. Transport fever? Nope. I, I already said what it is. <laughs> TRS 2008? Uh, sorry, 6. 6. Oh, right. Hmm. Don't seem very happy. Are you not happy? Maybe half an hour might suffice, yeah. 
to be fair, I did think that this might become the case. Although I didn't think I'd be driving this locomotive. Although this forest team locomotive, this cab does look very comfortable, right? You've got a nice comfy chair, you've got heating, a nice view. Over here you've got a chair, you've got heating, you've got a nice view. You've got all the controls right there, you don't even need to shovel because it's oil. No, I am happy. Don't worry, lad. <clears throat> yes, the pinnacle of luxury when it comes to steamers, I would imagine. Probably. At least for the uh, crew. Not that I think that this was built there. Well, crew. Ooh, that could look nice. Okay, how are things going in here? Could use a little bit more fuel. That's all okay. That's fine. <laughs> Look out there. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, this is the, the... The alternative route to this is the Feather River Canyon, which is the UP route. I think this one is now BNSF, the Donner Pass. And Feather River is Union Pacific, I think. BNSF, by the way, stands for Burlington Northern and Santa Fe. BNSF. Haha! <laughs> yes, crew. Haha! <laughs> crew XD. No, no, crew UK. Like I said before, if you take a locomotive onto a route doing a job that it was built for, doing a job that it was built for, then you're gonna be okay most of the time. I'm going down the Feather River Canyon, gotta go down the Feather River Canyon. Da -da 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 -da. Red Simpson. Roll. Truck roll. Can't really listen to that at the moment. Yeah, yeah, I thought you'd say. <laughs> that. Yes, I thought I'd say that too. So I'm glad I didn't disappoint myself. Okay, we need a little bit... Is that open all the way? Yes. Good, good. Yeah. 
Not sure if that's going to be enough, but... Um, the water, I mean. Should be. I'll keep an eye on it. Where's the... Oh, that's slightly dangerous. Look, the water glasses are up there. I mean, it makes sense because that's where the boiler is and it has to be on the level with the boiler. So you see, because that's how it works. It has the same level of water. But if, you, if you're a bit sleepy, yeah, and you don't turn your head all the way to look up there, well, roof hatch. Oh, look at that. I had no idea. One moment. <laughs> look, it's even open there. Look, you look in there. <laughs> I had no idea this was simulated with this locomotive. Dutch flat track too. Coming up on that. Hmm. That's a bit concerning. Ah, I think we need we just need a bit more fuel in there. Um, oh, am 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 amazing. Does the cab light also turn on on the outside puddle? I don't know. I've got to make sure that this all works first. Yes, there we go. Now we're generating more steam. Lost quite a bit of pressure there because I didn't keep an eye on it. Um, it looks like it does. Yes, it does. Yay, thanks. Good. Also, which city would you rather want to visit IRL? Birmingham, Alabama, or Felix Toe, Suffolk? I don't know. Is <laughs> my answer? Uh, unfortunately, that that is my answer. I, I don't know. Yeah, we dropped down to like 160 psi there, which isn't great because even because that is the maximum amount of pressure you can put into the steam chest. Of course, you can't put more pressure into the steam chest. Then you've got boiler pressure. So even if you've still got steam left, like 160 psi then that's the maximum amount you can put in there, which is why we slowed down so much. Now that we're going back up to 100 and, well, 230 PSI, we can put 230 PSI into the steam chest, and so we're accelerating again. So you really have to keep your pressure high. If you think, if you're going up a grade in a steam locomotive, then think, well, it's not going very quickly, so I've got all this steam pressure, I might as well use it, and then you crank it, crank the cutoff further open, and you use more of that pressure, then yes, that is going to give you a power boost, but it will lower your overall pressure, which means that you will then have an, a, a lower cap on the pressure that you can put into the steam chest, which means that if you're just going up a small hill, that's fine if you can generate the pressure afterwards again, regenerate it. But if you're going up a consistent slope, you really have to keep that pressure up because if you if you don't do that, then you're just gonna run out. And if you run out of pressure, then what just happened then happened, and we didn't even run out. We only got to like 160 out of 250. Uh, LNA Rail Yard, California. Uh, oh no, not Cliff, no, circa 1900 in Birmingham, LA. Ah. That looks nice. And Felix Beach. 
Oh, also looks nice. Looks like stormy. Ooh. Yeah, you really need to crank your head all the way around to see the water levels. Mm hmm. Why is that telling me to expect a red signal? That's a bit concerning. AL, not LA, XD, Skia. Well, that's just fine. You know what? I might I might experiment putting a timestamp, like a, a chapter in the stream on YouTube. So have the thing uh, the P, the PRK4 attempt, and then the SP cab forward attempt. If I can, well, I have to look up how to do that. I think if if you just put a timestamp in the description, just like a the the a timestamp, basically. That, that might be all that it is. There's the timestamp, space, and then in that line, whatever it is, the, the name of it. I think that's how it works, but I'd have to test it, obviously. Come on, need a bit more uh, pressure, please. Which means a bit more fuel. Ooh, that would be interesting. Mm-hmm. Go ahead, group. Bus. Oh, the Vectra, Vectra logo. Ah, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <coughs> go ahead, because you, you're showing me to go ahead with the timestamp thing, probably. Okay, need to reduce that a bit. There we are. Now things are happening. Yep. <laughs> Ooh. A city. That's an interesting screenshot. Bum, 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 bum. Captain, I spy a city. A city barefoot, I tell you. <laughs> a city of great national importance. Mm hmm. That. How steep are we going up? Uh, 2.4 still. Okay, that's fine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Altar, West Track 2, good. What's our next point of interest? Well, alright, we've got the, the other track for the loop, I see. Here we've got... Midas, track 2. Midas. Interesting. That goes across there. That looks very steep. Blue Canyon, ooh, might be a bridge there actually. If we ever get there, that is. Midas, track two. Hmm. Blue Canyon? No, no, no. B -b 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 Blue Canyon. Look at that grade, you can see how the locomotive is on a, such a slant. Look at that! And it's not a trick of the camera, you can see if I straighten it up like that, so it is straight on. If I tilt it down, you can see that is the actual angle that the locomotive is driving up. Yeah, alright. What? Oh, blue, gotcha. Yeah, huge grade. Valve Gear was animated beautifully as well. Mm -hmm. 2020 glitch. Wait. What do you mean 2020 glitch? Eh? There we go. Forgot the why. Glitchy. Oh, I see. Oh, we're going up a 2.7% grade. That's why it's so difficult. Hello, Chris. Uh, hello, is this train? Is this still train simulator? Or already a new game, Miss Scott? Something trains according to Scott? Ah, no, this is still train simulator. I've decided, because we've... I, I tried... We're, we're gonna do the, the other game soon. In like, six minutes. Because... Uh, I tried, this is Donna Pass, I tried going up here with the K4, the PRR K4, which pretty much immediately failed, didn't work. So then I retried with this one, which is the uh, Southern Pacific Cab Forward, and this is doing quite well. However, we've got 40 cars, and we're going up a 2.7% grade, and so... I decided to go till half past, but we're, we're gonna be starting the, the new MISC game soon, in a, a few, about five minutes, a little, well, yeah, but about five minutes. Look, with this locomotive you can even o have the, the cab roof hatch open, Chris. Look at that! Isn't that amazing? Look! Oh, wheel slip! Where's the wheel slip lever? Ah, uh, I mean the, the sander. Haha, <laughs> yes, the wheel slip lever. Oh, that one. Can't I just... if I just move that down like that? Nope, that doesn't stay. Okay. How are you, Chris, by the way? Are you good? Hey, uh, it is Tilt, yes. He'll start the new game run hot fast. New for the channel, at any rate. It is quite amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes. New game. It, yeah. Mesh tools, locals have always have that, albeit only with the advanced versions. What do you mean, advanced versions? The authority, Jinty, etc. Oh! Oh, I see. Is this an advanced version, then? <laughs> no! This isn't by Mesh Tools. Ah. Well, there we go, then. I was surprised. I thought they only made UK stuff. 
He does special stuff. Or did it at any rate. Hmm. How about a rate of 200%? Ah, gauge lights. There. There we go. We can press there. Wait, what does that buff do then? Oh, that might be for the outside. I'm not sure. Mesh tools. Ha, huh, sure. I'll take 201. 201%. Okay, so. Tell you what, where are we going? Okay. I think might as well bring the train to us top over there. So basically. We started down here, where that little Y is, and we made it up to there. We did that bit. And we would still have to go all the way up to there, so we've gone a bit over half the distance. Hmm, will you save? Ah, uh, sure, I'll save here. Save progress. But I'm not sure that I'll use that save. Thanks, I'm fine. Today we finished our apple harvest for winter storage. 100 kilograms in three days. Oh, wow. I think you told me that last win last autumn as well. <laughs> okay, well, it's been very nice. Locomotive, thank you for working properly. Look, the caboose at the end even has an interior. It's very nice. If you look over here, you can see that down there, they've got a, a coffee pot or something that's baked into the texture because from this angle, your it, it looks correct. <laughs> Congratulations. Wasn't it Elbreeze last time? Elbreeze? Oh, right, kettle. Ah, coffee pot, kettle, whatever. Let's just have a quick look over here. Yes, I mean, just look at that, how far up we've climbed. That is... That is quite intense, I think. Chris, I've actually picked quite a large one myself, too. Okay, yes, good. So that's the train sim bit. I'll quit this, and then I'll be back with Mini Metro. Mini Metro, which is the new game. Now you know. And let's put that there. And yes, I shall see you all in a few minutes when Windows has shut down and I can start Mini Metro. Thank you for coming.